So, uh, because the nicotine content in the brain goes high and then the, you develop the craving and the urges come. Mm. Uh, just coming back to our whole topic about banning tobacco, I think when we also go for courses abroad, I think we have seen that banning tobacco entirely is not an option for any country. Uh, it's not done in the US as well. Uh, the lobbies are very strong as uh, Ms. China and CS pointed out. I think we need to take baby steps. Uh, we hear discussing about the youth getting affected, getting influenced. There's peer pressure, there is uh, a lot of temptation. Uh, we've seen, like doctor has already said, there's been various ads uh, in the movie theaters. But like when we get out of school and we see tobacco being sold loosely, uh, for 10 rupees, 20 rupees, which is accessible to uh, children, you know, on a daily basis. Maybe they're going for tuitions, they're going to travel, and they are using that to buy cigarettes. I think that's where we need to come together and see that maybe the availability in local shops need to stop first. Right. You know? and, and I just want to point out to our audience that the uh, excise duty generation for the government of India from tobacco products have gone up uh, absolutely steadily for the last several years and in the last financial year 2016-17 the government earned 28,489 crore rupees through through tax on yes please that go ahead. Okay.